The WoW Garrison in 2023. Is it worth it? Let's take a look at the good, the bad, why I think it's worth it, and we'll talk a little bit about what it takes to get it making gold for you. First things first, what's good about the garrison? Well, it is super self-sufficient once you get it up and running. Um, there are add-ons to support it, which make managing your garrison literally take you less than a minute, and then you move on with your day. Now, I'd say I spend about less than 15 minutes a day running the garrison, and I run it on 8-ish alts, sometimes more, sometimes less, because I have many characters. Uh, but I only run it on so many characters per day because I don't want to be doing this all day. I really don't. That's why I said I, you know, it takes me, le uh, you know, generally less than 10 to 15 minutes. I log in. I check my mission table. I do my cooldowns, and I log out. Okay, so how's how's the garrison producing money? Well, it's very simple. One, we have garrison resources that produce themselves, and two we use the mission table to produce as many garrison resources as possible and we also take little items like this and we sell them to the vendor it's not a lot of gold but over time this stuff adds up um, of particular interest we want again these these missions produce just a little bit of gold free free items to sell to the vendor or disenchant which produces money and we want a, as many of these garrison missions garrison resource missions as possible uh, and then as well, uh, we want Primal Spirits because that's just going to get us more resources as well. Uh, we can even use the Apexis Crystals for Battle Pets if you have the appropriate reputation. Those Battle Pets are selling for thousands of gold. They don't sell frequently, but they do sell. Uh, and one of the most important things are these very lucrative missions that come from the Frostwall Inn. Or the Lunar Fall Inn, I believe it's called on the Alliance side. Um, the battle pets, eh, don't really, they're not worth that much, but, uh, they're still cool. Uh, but these ogre caches and these medallion of the legions, these are big ticket items in the garrison. Um, how do we, how do we get this, uh, rolling as producing as much resources as possible? Well, if you're super lucky, you'll have a, a follower like this one who will have scavenger and extreme scavenger, but I wouldn't. It's not something I would shoot for. That's just a luck of the draw. Um, generally, you'll just have an extreme scavenger. You can see I have a list of several of these followers. In fact, almost all of them have extreme scavenger. Um, and you can reliably get this by going to the Lunar Fall or the Frost Wall Inn, which I have right over there. And we'll just quickly run over there and see how do we do this we talk to our headhunter and boom there it is extreme scavenger skate you, uh, trait you can look for all kinds of stuff um, you in hindsight when when designing this I would have been a little bit more perfectly tailor-made but most of my garrisons are in fantastic condition for producing as many of these resources as possible so I don't really have to do that anymore um, now what do we do with those garrison resources we come over here to our trading posts and every day there's a new trader and she has different prices on different items I guess I should have turned my sound down a little bit but uh, she has different prices on different items and um, obviously we're gonna look for the best deals um, there are some items that clearly sell better or worse and if you are interested at all in making gold then you probably have already downloaded trade skill master um, I'm not one of those crazy people who go all in depth with super, um, uh, you know, the, the TSM profiles or, or rather, you know, the ones that, that have the, um, the, 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 all the custom lists. I do have those. Yes. I usually get them from other people. Um, some of them I've made myself, but most, most important thing is, is that you're able to track the prices of, of the goods on the auction house. Um, generally with the tooltip, it makes it super easy to see, hey, which ones are generally 
producing gold. Looks like this true iron ore which earlier today was less than a gold and now we're almost at two gold. People are constantly buying and, and selling these items. Um, and we're just looking to find one of the items that's worth that's that's cost efficient with these garrison resources. Today Pixney is the one selling the herbs for cheap. Tomorrow it could be another another trader who sells the fur for cheap or perhaps the raw beast hides for cheap. This is probably the best seller. Um, and how much gold am I making here? Let's take a look. Oh, by the way, you can also have your own little auction house right here. So let's do that. Um, I've got auctions up here. I sold some stuff, but uh, we've got flytrap on the auction house. It's probably not selling for 341. We'll probably take a look at that later. But let's let's just look at our some of our history for the past month. Ignore this. This is uh, a little bit out of whack because I had tr uh, transferred characters around from server to server. Um, okay, so we'll we'll just look at the auction house and one of our first items. Let's look at Drainic Dust. Drainic Dust. Okay. So in the past 30 days, I've made over 8,000 gold from Drainic Dust, but that's not even counting some of the other things that are produced from Garrison Re uh, Enchanting Goods. We have the, oh, I think I typoed. We have the Illusion from Warlord's Draylor. Here we go. Uh, we can ignore this, obviously. It's not not produced too much. So Tome of Illusions Draenor. Again, this is produced out of the garrison, and that's another f almost 5,000 gold. Sold a couple of them this month. Require does require a little bit of a diligent auction house posting, but um, if you're here, you probably want to make more gold anyways, so that's something that you'll want to get into. That's another one. Let's look at the fly trap, which is generally the best-selling herb that comes out of our garrison and you can see the prices have kind of fluctuated uh, as low as 165 and as high as on one a couple days we had a four a three and a four right there so and we've produced 4600 gold from that in the last 30 days okay so we're you know in the um, 15 16 17 thousand gold range some somewhere around there uh, what's another one that we've got We've got the fur, sumptuous fur, which produces a little bit of gold. Um, this one is up and down, but we've made about 3,000 gold from it. That one's all right. And then we have our, let's look at our, our best one, raw beast hide. This one is producing by far the... I wouldn't say that by far, but pretty consistently good gold. Um, the Drainic Dust would be comparable considering some of the things that we sold with it. Um, and there's more you could be selling with the raw, the, these furs, but you can see the, the leather working stuff. So I, no joke, will sell instantaneously. You'll post it and that's, and it will, boom, get sold. So raw B-side, 13,000 gold. We're, we're in the, what, maybe the twenty-five to 30,000 gold range already. Uh, that was simple math, so if I was wrong there, I was wrong, but, um, let's look at huge ogre cash. We've sold three of these in the, in the last, uh, 30 days, and we've made almost 12,000 gold from it, so now we're clearly in the 30,000, um, range somewhere, and medallion of the legion, and, oh, we've got some other medallions. Let's just filter that down to Medallion of the Legion specifically. And, and we're, there we go. We've sold four of these and we've made 16, over 16,000 gold from Medallion of the Legion. These are all Warlords of Drano items. This item has literally only gone up in value over time. I remember when these would sell for a thousand gold, and then they sold for two thousand, and now we're at four thousand gold. They're harder to come by because there's less people running garrisons, which is a great reason for you to get involved into a garrison now. Um, now, you're not going to make all this gold off of just one garrison. 
Uh, I recommend you run a few of these at a time to produce as much resources as you can at a time. You definitely want to be uh, selling you know, goods in bulk as, as often as possible when the prices are good. Very simple to do. Takes less than 15 minutes a day. You log in, knock your garrisons out, knock your cooldowns out while you're at it, like you're, you're transmuting, and boom, you're done. And you've got basically passive gold coming in. There's a little bit of an investment, a gold investment, that goes into them to kind of get them up to speed. You want to get a, a rank 3 garrison. Uh, you could do it with less, but honestly, a rank 3 is where you're going to find the, the best potential value. Um, that's going to cost you... The upgrade to, to rank 3 is like 5,000 gold and some garrison resources. And then I think to rank 2, it's maybe like, I think it's like 2,500 gold. So, you know, you're looking at, and then it's going to cost you a little bit to upgrade each one of the, the structures um, inside the garrison itself. Uh, but I, I assure you, it is well worth it if you put the time into it. Um, it it's, you know, you're not going to see immediate gains, but if you enjoy World of Warcraft and you continually play and you want ways to pay for things like maybe help help contribute towards your wow token things like that this is most definitely a way that will pay itself off in the long run these garrisons have been around for a long time and i can I assure you i've been making every time i play world of warcraft these garrisons produce gold for me um again they will pay themselves off and then you will just it is just profit 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 so thanks for watching um, we'll address some more things about the garrison, like, you know, what it's going to take to get it set up in, a, in another video. Um, like, subscribe, follow, and if you got any questions, put them in the comments, and I'd be happy to take a look, and, and hopefully we can get you some answers. Have a good day.